Sweda and welcome back to my YouTube channel, The Real Queen Way. I am a fashion influencer and also a self-taught makeup artist. Before starting the makeup tutorial, I want to tell you that this beautiful sari that I am wearing is from Alluria Store. The main reason why I love this sari so much because this is ready to wear. Yes, that is something I was looking for a very long time. The advantage of wearing ready to wear sari is that you don't have to worry about tripping, you don't have to worry about splitting and it also takes like 2 minutes to wear this thing. So if you are in hurry or you don't know draping the sari that well, I would recommend that you totally go for a ready to wear sari. Buy this beautiful sari and more from Alluria store on Instagram. Go to App Store or Play Store, download the Instagram app and visit Alluria store now. So let's get started. In this video, I am going to show you how to do Indian party makeup at home like a professional without using any very expensive makeup. Before start doing makeup, always moisturize your skin with a cream based or a gel based moisturizer. I have taken my foundation and a beauty blender and I am going to apply my foundation with this beauty blender. This foundation is from MAC and it is quite expensive but it is not necessary that you have to use this MAC foundation. Now I have taken two foundation brush. The first one I am going to use to highlight my face and I am using this cream contour palette. Now I am applying this highlighter in my face. I have taken another foundation brush and I am applying the contour in the region where I did not apply the highlighter. Now I am going to blend this all using a beauty blender brush. I am taking some common talcum powder and I am applying this on my cheek. The very reason I am doing this because now I am going to start doing my eyeshadows. And if the eyeshadow dust falls on my cheek where the makeup is already been applied, it will be really difficult to remove it. And my cheeks gonna look really really dirty. This is one of the best makeup hack I have learned in my life. Do you want the eyeshadow to look really bright and highly pigmented? There is one really interesting hack for you. Use a gel based white eyeliner and apply it on the region where you are going to apply the eyeshadow. It is like making an empty canvas. You will notice that the empty canvas is colored white. And why is that? Because all color looks really really white on the white color. I am basically doing the same thing. I am making an empty canvas so that I can do my eyeshadow art over it. I am planning to do an eyeshadow with bright pink color, golden and black and it is going to be half cut crease. So first I am taking a fluffy brush and I am applying this bright pink color on the upper part of my eyelid. Look how pigmented this color is looking. Now I have taken this dark red color and the flat brush and notice how pigmented this is looking. Now I have taken a spongy brush and taking this nude color and applying this just below my eyebrows this will give some definition to the eyebrows 
Now I'm going to do the cut crease with a liquid concealer and the smallest possible flat brush. I'm taking the help of a mirror for this as it is a very delicate process. Please notice carefully how I am cutting the crease. Now I have taken this bright golden color and applying it on the corner and lower part of the eyelid. I am filling rest of the eyelid with this dark red color. I have taken a flat angular brush and applied this glittery black color on the outer corner of the eyes. Make sure it is blended well. I have taken this red liquid eyeshadow to define the cut crease a little well. For that I have taken this small flat brush and I am drawing this line just over the cut crease. For the lower part of my eyes, I have again taken this glittery black color and I am applying it with an angular brush. I am making this a little thick since it is a glam makeup and I am joining this line with the upper eyeshadow line. Now I'm going to fill my eyebrows. I'm not showing it here in details. If you want to know how I do my eyebrows, please watch my previous video about reverse cat eye makeup. There I have shown how I do it. My eye makeup is almost done. Now I'm going to remove this talcum powder that I have applied on my cheek. I'm applying black kajal on the lower part of my eyes and since it is a glam makeup, so I'm gonna make this kajal a little thicker. Now applying eyeliner on the upper part of my eyes. I'm also going to make it a bit thick and also making winged eyeliner. Since it is a party makeup, so I am applying some glitter. I have taken a powdered contour palette and I am going to apply it on the region where I have applied the cream contour previously. This will give more definition to my face. I am applying a blusher now and today I have chosen this soft nude shade of blusher. I have taken a soft pearl shade of highlighter and I am applying this powdered highlighter in the region where I have applied the liquid highlighter before. I have taken a thick and round brush and blending everything evenly. I have taken this dark red lip liner pencil and I am outlining my lips following my natural lip lines.
Now I am applying dark red matte lipstick. I am curling my lashes with a lash curler. Now I am applying a very common mascara. After applying mascara, I am going to apply magnetic eyelashes with magnetic eyeliner. I have chosen some thick and voluminous eyelashes for this makeup. My makeup is done. Now I am going to wear the sari and some jewelries and a beautiful wig today and let me show you the final look thank you so much everyone for watching this video if you like this video then please don't forget to like and share and subscribe to my youtube channel the real queen v and don't forget to follow me on instagram my ids are veda chat and the real queen v bye guys see you next time